Hi everyone, myself Mrs. N. Uma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor of Physics in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. In this video, I am going to discuss about the topic Theory of Semiconductor Devices 3. Here we see about the HBT. So, the full form of the HBT is Heterojunction Bipolar Transistor. The basic idea to use a heterostructure in bipolar transistor is almost as old as the bipolar transistor itself. In 1948, W. Shockley described the advantage of a bipolar transistor consisting of a wide band gap emitter and a narrow band gap base. It took more than 30 years to materialize Shockley's idea in practical devices. The heterojunction bipolar transistor is an improvement of the VJT that can handle signals of very high frequencies up to several hundred gigahertz. In the slide, we will clearly see the schematic cross section of an NPN heterojunction bipolar transistor structure. It also provides the energy band diagram of a HBT operated under the active mode. Here let's see the emitter, base, emitter and then base junction activities. The emitter provides the wide band gap of aluminium gallium arsenide where, whereas the base provides lower band gap in gallium arsenide. The large band gap difference between the emitter to base common emitter current gain can be extremely large. Homo junction there is no band gap difference doping concentration in the emitter and base must be very high. So the valence band energy increases the valence band barrier height that leads to reduce the injection of the holes from base to emitter. Hence it can be used as a heavily doped base that maintains a high emitter efficiency and current gain. To improve the beta value, we can increase the beta of value of the emitter using a base material that has a smaller band gap energy by the terms of increasing early voltage and reducing the base resistance. So next, let's see about the solar cell. Solar cells is the devices that converts the energy of the light directly into electrical energy by photovoltaic effect. In general, a solar cell that includes both solar and non-solar sources of light such as photons from incandescent bulbs is termed as a photovoltaic cell or PV cell. Solar cell is also known as a photovoltaic cell. Next, let's see the principle of the solar cell. A solar cell is a very large diode when the silicon that is doped p-type is next to region of silicon doped n-type. The holes from the p-type side diffuse to the n-type side. The electron diffuse to the p-type side. This create an electric field. This is clearly given in this picture. This electric field makes it easy for current to flow in one direction but hard to flow in another. This uh, electric field also separates electron and hole that has been created by the absorption of sunlight. When the electron and hole are separated, electric power can be extracted from the circuit. The most familiar solar cells are based on the effect of the photovoltaic. In this effect, light falling on the semiconductor device of the two layer produces a potential difference or photo voltage between the layers. Hence, the voltage thus produced can drive a current to an external circuit producing is useful work. Thank you to everyone.